All right, this is a Permobil M3, mid-wheel drive Permobil M3. This power chair has 15 miles, so it was used probably for a couple of weeks. 15 miles total mileage on this power chair, so it's literally brand new. This chair is fully loaded, okay? It has five electrical function. It has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet, and this one also has the interior tilt with the seat tilts forward to help you get out of the chair. Five electrical function, all kinds of other stuff on this chair also will cover. This is the latest in technology from, uh, from uh, Permobil. The color, as you can see, is orange. Uh, it does have the factory lights. It has all kinds of stuff on this chair. So let me start with the uh, function. To work all the function on this chair, you have to go through the joystick right here. So what you would do, you would go to your joystick, you would push this button forward until you see a picture of the chair on your, on your screen right here. So I'm going to keep pushing forward and now I see a, I see a picture of the, the whole chair. If you want the seat lift to go up, the only thing you want yellow is the seat cushion has to be yellow in the picture. If there's anything else yellow, just move the joystick sideways and change the colors according to what you want. So right now the seat is yellow. That means I can go back and forth with the joystick and make the seat go up. So if you watch the joystick, I'm going to go forward actually, you can see the seat lift going up. We're going to start at 22 inches and by the time it's all the way up, you'll be at 34 inches high. This is great if you want to do your dishes, you want to grab something off the cabinet, you want to go to a movie, you want to see above everybody else. And the nice thing about the seat lift also is you can still drive this chair at 3 miles an hour plus with the seat lift elevated. I can't show you how fast it would go in here because we have not enough room, but outside later on I'll show you the video how fast this chair will drive with the seat elevated. So while we have the seat up, let's look at the base. We have 14 inch solid tires. They're not gonna mark your floor. Caster wheels in the back, caster wheels in the front. You can see there's an anchor point here welded to the frame. There's also another anchor point here, there's two. This is where you secure your chair if you're going to transport this chair. You have two on this side, two on the opposite side, okay? You have suspension back here. You can't see it, but you can see the fork moving. There's a huge suspension back in here. This chair, folks, weigh about 425 pounds. So with the weight of the chair and a 200-pound user, that's over 625 pounds of weight on that chair. That's why you get such a good ride. It feels like you're on a cloud with these chairs. Plus... It's a permobil, it's the top of the line in quality, okay? Now, this chair has two motors, okay? Let me show you where the motors are at so you understand how this works. If you look at the front of the chair, you can see two reflectors. That's the front of your motors, okay? If I want to push this chair, well, it's 425 pounds, plus it's in gear, plus it's too heavy to lift. But if I want to roll it, all I have to do is turn the power off, and the reason you want to have the power off is you want no resistance in the motors. This is the end of your motor. The motor goes all the way up to here, directly to the drive wheels. But on top of the motor, you see a little silver screw right here. And you see how this handle moves. If you push that handle inward on both sides, because you have a motor for both wheels, now your chair is in neutral. See that? The wheel rolls, the wheel rolls freely. When you're done, please... Put the levers back in gear, so the next morning when you go to use it again, you're ready to go, okay? So, so that's the base of the chair right there. So that we're going to bring the seat lift back down. While the seat lift is going down, let me uh, go over the swing away joystick. This is a swing away joystick, so you notice how I took the joystick from here and brought it here. This enables you to get to a lot closer to a dining table without having to do this, without having to raise the arm, okay? So this is real nice to have. If you're left-handed, we can put that joystick on the left side and it'll swing to the left side, okay? I want to show you something else, folks. Let me go back with the seat lift. I'm going to go back up, about halfway up, okay? I'm going to show you something. So let's just say you have the seat lift at this height, and let's do this. Let's bring the feet in, Whoa, wrong way. We're gonna bring the foot plate all the way in. And once they're all the way in, we're gonna flip the foot plates up 
And you remember I told you this chair has interior tilt, the, tilt, the seat tilts forward. So I'm going to go to the position for the interior tilt. Watch the back, watch the seat go forward. All right, I'm in the wrong position setting here. Let me go back to this one here. All right. You notice how the seat's going down? You see it? Okay, this is called your interior tilt, folks. So let me bring the seat up a little bit more, just to give you an idea. If you have someone who has trouble getting out, let's bring the seat up. So if you have someone who has trouble getting out of their chair, folks, with the interior tilt, you're pretty much out of your chair. You could even go higher and you're standing, folks, okay? This is what the interior tilt does. It tilts you forward. That's your second option. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to bring the interior tilt back. There's so many functions on this chair. There we go. Notice going back. All right. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the seat back down. I'm just getting the seat. So the seat's going to go back down all the way to the bottom. So this is your interior tilt we just did, and I already did the seat lift earlier. So once, once, you man once you understand these buttons better than I do, you'll be able to raise the seat, tilt it forward, and get out of it. If, that's your, if you have someone who has an issue getting out, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the legs out a little bit more, you know, the feet. Where they're, where they're, you should have them out when you're outside, just about like that, okay? So now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the tilt. This is called tilt. So tilt is when the base right here goes back. So when the base goes back, of course the legs and the back go back together because they're all connected. This is good if you want to relieve pressure off your bottom, pressure off your back. You just want circulation or you just want to relax. So this is as far back as the tilt will go. The next thing I'm going to show you are the feet. So let's just say you want to get your legs up in the air. Let's see how far these legs will go. Now this chair is fully adjustable. So if you're five feet tall, six foot two, a hundred pounds or 280 pounds, we can adjust the seat, make the legs longer. We can do all customizing on these chair. We have the frame, we have the cushions here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the seat back down to show you you don't have to be at this position I'm going to bring the seat back down to show you you don't have to be at this position all the way up to have so here your feet are still higher than your body even if you're only one third of the way tilted back okay so I'm going to bring it all the way down so now we've covered the seat lift of 12 inches we've covered the interior tilt We've covered the electric legs. And now we're going to do, we did the tilt. Now we're going to do what's called the recline. The recline is just the back going back. So you can see the back is going back by itself. There's nothing else moving in the chair. This is called electric recline. Folks, this, 20 years ago, this was not available. All these options, well, some of them were, but not all the ones you've just seen. This is just amazing what they have done in the last 10, 20 years with these chairs. So this chair is a full recline. As you can see, that's as far as it will go. And you can raise the arm out of the way. So if you transfer from the side, you can move the arms out of the way. And these lateral pads right here, you just raise the handle and they can be moved out of the way. Okay? So this is your recline. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the recline back up. Matter of fact, I'm going to do the legs and the recline at the same time. Too many options here. All right, let's bring the recline back up. 
we'll do that first. So there goes your recline back up. Also this chair has the arms on this chair are, are not vinyl, they're cloth. So if you, uh, you will not stick to these arms. They're cloth arms, really nice, and you can wash them down just with some degreaser and a wet cloth, okay? So we're gonna bring the legs back down now. The legs, the feet, whatever you wanna call them. When you're outside, leave those legs out a little bit so you have a little more clearance or elevate the seat or tilt the seat just to give you a little more clearance when you're traveling, especially if you're going at a high speed because this chair will go six to six and a half miles an hour. This one has plenty of clearance because the legs are set up short, okay? So you don't have to worry about this one. But if let's just say we were going to set this chair up for a six foot two person, we would be dropping these legs down to here, okay? So let's look at the chair. So it's a mid-wheel drive chair. So what that means, I'm going to put it, put it back in drive. What that means with a mid-wheel drive is you can turn this chair in a circle all day long in your house. Look how quiet this chair. Can you, I can't even hear the chair. I can hear my foot, but I can't even hear the six wheels on the ground on this chair. This is how you can hear when you stop, you'll hear a click, right? There. That's just the gear and the motor. When you stop and when you go, you'll hear the same click. There you go. So let's look at the seat. The seat on this chair right now is 16 by 18. It's an air cushion. Folks, as I said, if this seat's not big enough, we can make it bigger, okay? Um, you have a safety belt. The cushion can be replaced. All, all these cushions pull off. You have lateral knee pads with this chair. What that means is with these pads, it keeps your knees from buckling out and your, your feet from falling off the foot plate. If you don't want these on here, that can be removed. You've got a USB port right here, so if you want to charge your phone, you would charge it right through here. The back of the chair, you have a fully adjustable headrest right here. You can see all the adjustments. And you can adjust the height. We're going to tighten it up real quick here. So it doesn't make any noise when we're traveling outside. There we go. Okay. You also have with this chair a full package of the headlights and tail lights. These are the real factory lights right here. You have one on each side in front. You have the headlights and you have your tail lights and you also have hazards. You have left flasher, right flasher. So you have hazards, flashers, and you have your headlights and tail lights. Okay. We're going to turn the lights off. When you charge this chair, you use your permobile charger. I'm going to use this one here. This may not be the charger, but we'll use this one for an example. They always plug right here. And as soon as the light goes to full, the charger will stop charging. Okay, so these are smart chargers. So let's recap. Let's see what we have here. This is a Permobil M3 for mid-wheel drive. One of the best chairs if you have a van, you need to get into a van, you have a small area in your house because this one turns on its own length. So whatever the length from here, if you bring the legs in to the front, that's what it'll turn in that circle all day long. Okay. This chair is an M3 orange. It has 15 miles. It was only used for a couple weeks. It has five electrical function. It has a 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric legs, and the interior tilt. Five electrical function. It has 15 miles. It also has the swing away joystick, the flip up arm, the lateral knee pad, the safety belt, the air cushion, the USB port, the adjustable headrests, the headlights, the anchor points, the solid tires. Folks, this is the top of the line in power chair. So if you want the top of the line and you want everything you could ever want in a power chair and this is the color you would like to have, this one is available right now. As soon as you let go of the joystick, it stops within a couple feet. 
It has electromagnetic brakes. What that means, it'll come to a crawl and then stop. Even though the power is still on, the chair is in gear, it will not move. So even if you're going down a ramp, up a ramp, it will not go run on you, it will not run down on you. It'll go the speed you have it at until you touch this. No problem in the grass. My grass has a pretty good bottom. So if you have any, any grass where it is not too mushy and no, dirt, uh, no sand, you'll go through that grass with no problem. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna raise the seat up. I can't see a whole lot with this, uh, there we go. So I'm gonna raise the seat up and show you with the seat elevated how fast it drives. Now, if you're gonna drive with the seat elevated, folks, drive it on flat, flat surface, okay? So this is your 12 inch seat lift and we're almost to the top. There we go. And now we're gonna put it back in drive. Drive two is your fast speed. So I'm gonna turn it around and show you how fast it goes. So with the seat elevated, top speed is 3.3 .3 miles an hour, 3.3. .3. Walking speed is about two, two and a half miles, depending how fast you walk. So this is faster than walking speed, 3.3 .3 miles an hour when the seat's elevated, that's the top speed you're gonna get, okay? This chair has 15 miles, practically brand new. It has the seat lift, the tilt, the recline, the electric feet, the interior tilt, the headlights, the cloth arm, the swing away joystick, the USB port, the anchor points, the lights, the solid tire, the suspension, fully loaded. So if you're looking for a nice M3 Permobil, this is another nice one. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677. 6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.